Hi, I'm Gerald, and you're watching a 360-degree video thanks to this camera that was kindly provided by LG. Desktop users can click and drag the screen to look around, and phone slash tablet users can just move their device around. This is our office here at Core A Studios, where we do commercial video content. And these are my partners, Guy, Tim, and Bill, who are hard at work on non-gaming jobs that actually pay the bills. So without further ado, here's EVO 2016 in 360 degrees. This year, the tournament took place at the Las Vegas Convention Center for the first two days. The monorail is the best way to get there because it's only five bucks and you get a nice view of the city. Even Speaker Lady agrees with me. The Las Vegas Strip has over four miles of fun things to do. And the best way to see it all is the Las Vegas monorail. As you get closer to the venue, the excitement builds up as you can start to see some thuggery on the stairs and people carrying their sticks. Also, in case you were wondering, I'm wearing two passes because one is a normal pass and the other is a media pass that allows me to shoot things like interviews. When I entered the venue, I was greeted with a bunch of old school arcade fighting game cabinets. This was a nice touch because you don't really get to experience these games like this anymore, and it was really nostalgic just to see people crowding around the machines waiting to get next. The venue was basically split up into two areas. You had convention kind of stuff on one side that had stores, games being promoted, and meet and greets with famous people. On the other side, you had most of the tournament stuff going on. Some games like Tekken were played on the convention side of the venue, but it was appropriately next to the scary statue thing where Bandai Namco would make some special announcements. Where I'm standing now is pretty much the center of the room where you can see the three projected matches being played with the middle one being the main stage. If you look above, you can see the lighting setup in the shape of the EVO logo. And the best part is, it can change colors. Pure genius. This is what your typical pool looks like. It's basically a table with a sign that has a number and a judge to keep track of the wins and losses. These are the matches you won't find on stream, and depending on the match, there can be a lot of people watching, and you can start to understand why they wouldn't try to enforce a no coaching rule here. Pools can be a lot of fun when you go with your friends because you can support each other during the matches. When I played, I was super nervous during the first game, but after that it wasn't so bad. I can only imagine the pressure that sponsored players have to go through, but I guess they're sponsored because they've proven they can handle it. Some of the more high profile matches are played on stream like this Daigo vs Tokido match, and it's located next to the projected screen. You can see the commentator setups in the back, and actually, you were able to see the match on the other side of the projected screen, but it was mirrored and kind of hard to see. The far end of the venue were the Smash setups. If you look around, you can spot one wild hungry box walking around among the forests of CRT televisions. I can't remember the last time I saw so many tube TVs in one place. It kind of felt like being at Best Buy in the 90s. My favorites were the mini CRT Smash setups at the far wall of the venue. These weren't a part of the tournament, but those TVs were really cute and I want one. The final matches of the second day would determine who would make top 8 in Street Fighter V and get to play in front of millions of viewers on ESPN at the prestigious Mandalay Bay. As you can see, even veterans like Infiltration and Gamer B are both struck with anxiety before their top 16 match. Or maybe they're just meditating, I, I don't know. I feel like meditation is trending in the FGC nowadays for some reason. On Sunday, we were at the Mandalay Bay and it was insane. Before you entered the stadium, there was an area with concession stands where you could buy drinks and snacks. It really felt like I was at a baseball game, and upon entering the stadium, I felt like I had a shotgun blast of esports to the face. I wasn't prepared for the sheer amount of people wanting to watch a video game that originated in pizza parlors and liquor stores. You know you've made it big when people are knocking around beach balls at your event. Of course, no evil would be complete without some big announcements, and this one was a pleasant surprise as someone living in Korea. And Evo is the most prestigious fighting game tournament on the planet. It has a very special meaning to everyone. It's our world stage. But now, it's time for a new stage. Evo Japan is finally coming. And no Ono speech would be complete without this. Thanks for watching, and make sure to watch part one of this video if you haven't already. That's it for EVO 2016. See you next video. Bye.